Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you on board a 2016 Fountain Peugeot Impanima 58. I have got listed for sale down in the Virgin Islands. The boat is uh, part of a crude yacht charter program. Uh, she's been very well maintained since new. I mean, I was very happy with the overall condition when I went on board her this week. The crew is absolutely phenomenal. The boat has got a great track record for being an earner, and it's truly a turnkey charter operation for somebody looking at putting a large luxury catamaran into crude yacht charter. She's got generator, air conditioning, water maker, inverter, a brand new brig tender with a 60 horsepower Honda. I mean, the list just goes on and on. All in all, a really nice boat. Let's go ahead and jump on board. The port sugar scoop and on this 2016 Impanema 58 they actually extended that you can see the stainless with the um, synthetic teak and the dive ladder that's actually uh, was done after market which is really nice just creates a larger uh, platform area for getting in and out of the water we've also got the uh, Weber mounted grill here and a brand new brig tender with a 60 horsepower Yam uh, Honda excuse me this uh, boat Sorry, this tender is brand new, hasn't even been used for a charter yet. We're going to make our way around the uh, port weather deck first, and then from there we'll, um, we'll go up to the flybridge, then the uh, cockpit. So nice wide weather decks. Split trampoline with the factory installed bow sprit. We've got the huge storage lazarettes up here forward. And then center line, we've got the anchor windlass. And then over here on the other side, we've got another nice large lazarette. We've got a uh, bow seat on both bows, which is a pretty cool spot to hang out while underway. Do a quick pan through the cockpit here. Notice I said quick pan, not pano. Get a couple of haters out there that keep criticizing me for the use of pano instead of pan apparently it's like a condition that can happen to a dog pano I, I don't know it's definitely not a camera term um, anyways making our way down the weather deck on the starboard side we're gonna pop up to the flybridge and then we'll go down to the cockpit so starboard forward we've got the helm really good visibility from the helm when you're coming in, you've got good visibility in all points. Quick pano from the helm. So the boat is equipped with Garmin Electronics and uh, Yanmar diesels, which the controls for the diesels are down low. She's got Antal winches. Three of the four of them are powered winches making the boat very easy to sail shorthanded. Aft, we've got a really nice large U-shaped settee with uh, split cocktail tables. Perfect place to hang out either underway or at anchor. And then we've got the uh, wet bar here center line with an isotherm drink refrigerator in the, uh, in the actual wet bar. making our way into the uh, cockpit here. Uh, the boat's got a full enclosure, which when they're off charter, they tend to keep it, keep it shut to keep the elements out of the cockpit. We've got a wet bar over here on the starboard side with two isotherm uh, refrigerators. We've got a day bed above that. And then we've got cockpit dining for, uh, they do 10 pack charters on this boat and they can get 10 people around that table. And then we've got an L-shaped settee over to port and then another day bed above that. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Our way into the salon here. Port side, we've got a nice L-shaped settee with a coffee table with storage inside the coffee table. On the starboard side, we've got a very nice U-shaped galley with a full-size Bosch refrigerator, a five burner stove, uh, oven broiler, and uh, plenty of storage down below. The couch actually made this insert here for the sink, which is nice because it you know hides dishes when you're underway, but it's pretty cool from a plating standpoint. It actually will go across the galley here and create more counter space for uh, when the chef's plating. 
So really nice U-shaped galley. Do a quick pano here through the salon. We're go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and go to the uh, port aft cabin first. So a couple of steps brings us down. I love all the natural light that comes in through that large aft window, as well as the window on the outboard side. So we've got a semi walk around queen berth. Through here we've got the uh, head. So we've got vanity and sink, nice mirror, plenty of storage down below, and a nice shower stall separate from the actual head. Going forward from there, we've got the midship cabin, which has got a uh, queen size berth. Um, it's not a walk around, unfortunately, uh, but it is still a very nice size berth. Forward of that, we've got the midship head. All the toilets on this boat are electric heads, uh, but vanity and sink, separate shower stall forward. I mean, this boat was designed for one reason, and that was to do term yacht charters with a captain and chef on board. And uh, she's been a very, very successful boat for those types of trips. We're gonna go check out the Port Ford cabin, but on the way there, we're just gonna stop at the nav station. So we've got a forward facing nav station here with Garmin repeaters, as well as the uh, system control for the boat. And then through here, We've got the remote control for the uh, Onan generator. Making our way down to the Port Ford cabin. It's a very nice athwart ship berth. Semi walk around queen with a large window across from it. And then the head is separate uh, forward. So we've got the shower stall all the way forward. And then just after that, we have the vanity and sink. Now, I mentioned the four peaks on this boat. Really nice. Both four peaks are actually accessed not only from the deck, from down below here. This is where they've got all of their spares and water toys uh, neatly organized. Making our way back across the uh, salon. We've got the starboard forward cabin, which mirrors the port forward cabin, so an authority ship berth. Just tons of natural light in here. And then the actual head forward, as well as access to the four peak, like I showed you on the port side. We're gonna make our way to the starboard aft head on board this cat. Crew's getting the boat ready. They're heading out on their Christmas charter tomorrow. So this cabin mirrors the uh, port aft cabin. Semi walk around queen size berth, tons of natural light. And then the uh, shower on the outboard side, separate shower stall forward. Really, really nice cabin. So this is the uh, 26, oh, sorry, through there is the crew cabin, um, but I'm gonna kindly respect their privacy as the sign ass. So that's the uh, 2016 Fountain Peugeot Impanima uh, charter layout. If you've got any questions on this boat or any other catamaran, please leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.